Hi, my name is Muzi and welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about how to protect your ideas, right? Now, when it comes to ideas and protection, you are now stepping into the realm of what is called intellectual property, uh, IP for short. So now when you're talking intellectual property, there's, there are four main ways of protecting whatever idea that you have. Way number one is copyright. When it comes to copyright, you told it's more, mostly uh, involves content. So if you're writing a book, you're writing an article, or you wrote in a song or a video, or made a documentary of something. So with content, that that you would go for copyright. Now with copyright is you don't necessarily have to make any registrations. As soon as you put it out there into the public, you automatically get copyright. But that that is for South Africa. Like in some countries, you actually have to make some you have to make some registration in order for you to qualify for copyright. But in South Africa, you automatically get it. But there are a few industries where you might need to register. For instance, if you if you created a song, you're gonna to have to make make a registration at some road just to say, okay, this track belongs to whoever. This is the person who's making the distribution and all of that. And then with trademarks, trademarks are all about symbols. So with trademarks, it's all about uh, the symbol that you put into your products or services to let your customers or to let everyone know that you, the, you are the one who owns that particular item. For instance, the jacket that I'm wearing, it has the Nike swoosh on it. They put this swoosh inside, onto this jacket to let customers know that this jacket belongs to Nike. So the jacket itself could have been designed by anyone. It could have, it could have had three stripes on it and that way you would have identified it as an Adidas jacket. But the jacket is still the same. The only thing that changes is this, the symbol that they put. That symbol is a trademark. It's normally depicted by the TM, at the small TM at the end, or an R with a circle around it. Companies put these as well if the, if the trademark is still relatively new and people don't know, know about it much in the industry. You also have number three here, patents. With patents, it's all about new things so if you have a new design of something or a new way of doing something you could register a patent for that uh, for instance the coca-cola bottle the shape of the bottle coca-cola has a patent on it so that because of, of the, the, how they design the bottle even if you remove the label away from the bottle you could see it from a distance just from looking at the shape you can tell that no that's a coke bottle right there with patents also you find things like um, if there's a new, if you create a new, uh, if you create a vaccine, the that, that, that formula for that vaccine can, could can be patented and say, okay, this is a new drug, and then you could ap apply for a patent for that. It's an expensive affair, but it, it's a profitable one if what you if what you're doing is something that there's something that society needs. Uh, number four, trade secrets. The trade secrets is all about what it says secrets. For instance, the KFC recipe. The KFC recipe is a trade secret. It's not necessarily registered anywhere. It's just that they keep it a secret inside the KFC headquarters. The same, uh, same thing goes for the Coke recipe. It's also a trade secret. So they know it somewhere in, in the US. A few people know ex the exact formula for, for Coca-Cola. This, you, you can work with this. You could protect your ideas as well with it. Now the issue with trade secrets is you have to trust people to not speak about it. So you find that your high level executives actually have to, actually have to sign contracts stipulating that this trade, that they are not going to say anything to anyone, including their wives, about how Coke is made or, or the recipe for the, K, for the KFC, the, for KFC, the 11 spices and all of that. But this is just a basic rundown of what you need to protect your ideas. So for more information, please go to cipc.co.za. If you are in South Africa, go to cipc.co.za. That's where you're going to find most of the information relating to how to protect your ideas in this country. But now all countries have something similar. So in the U.S., you'd have your U.S. patent office. I think it's uspto.com and so on and so forth for, for each country. Um, so now to wrap up, thank you for watching this video. Uh, Remember, I'm still going to be releasing one to three videos per week. Please subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Hi, my name is Muzi. No. Hi, my name is Muzi. Now, 
when it comes to protecting ideas, um, 